Hello friends, welcome to SourceCAD and in this tutorial I will tell you about making dimensions, some of the basic dimensions into AutoCAD and I will use this sample drawing which you find on the screen right now to demonstrate how common dimensions can be used. So you know what the dimensions are, dimensions these are the annotations which are added to a drawing and they are very important. So let's just start making uh, those dimensions. So you can uh, apply dimensions using this annotate panel on the home ribbon or here are the dimension tools or you can directly go to annotate ribbon also so I will use annotate ribbon and on this annotate ribbon ribbon here you will find dimensions so I will use most of the common dimensions in this tutorial and other dimensions will be covered in next tutorial so let's start with a linear dimension the first dimension is linear so let's go and select this linear dimension once you do this you'll find that uh, the command line asks for the first uh, point for the dimension you can either specify the first point or go ahead and press enter as soon as you press enter you'll see that the cursor changes to the pick box and now you can directly click on the line or arc or circle and the dimension will be mentioned like this so here we have the dimension directly mentioned now okay now let's apply this method again so I'll go to linear and this time press enter and now click on this circle and you'll see that the linear dimension of the circle is applied directly okay now we'll select points to measure these dimensions so now go to linear and this time I'll select point this point then this point and drag it and I'll apply the dimension so now here we have the dimension so you can apply these dimension in using any of the methods which I showed you right now and while using all the other remaining dimension tools you can apply both of the methods so now let's go to our next option that was aligned okay so we have applied linear dimension and the linear dimension can be applied only in the case where the object is either vertical or the object is horizontal like here in this case it's horizontal so the linear dimension can be applied now let's first apply linear dimension to this aligned line now click on this point then click on this point and now you can see that it's making a horizontal dimension now let's move on to this direction and it will make a vertical one but it will not make a dimension which is parallel to this line so a linear dimension will always make a horizontal or a vertical dimension based upon your direction of cursor so now let's go and delete all these dimensions and now I'll go to aligned now click on aligned and now click on this point and this point and now here we have the parallel dimension which we were looking at so now you can make a parallel dimension aligned to an angle using this aligned dimension tool you can make a linear dimension also with this a linear dimension can also be made using a line dimension tool okay now let's go and have a look at other dimension commands so now the next one is angular click on angular and click on first line then on second line and here we have the angle between these two lines the place where you'll click your cursor will signify that angle so now if I click on this side it will be this angle this angle and this angle here I click and here is the angle in a similar way you can apply angle to any of the two lines but make sure those are either lines or polylines because the angular command will not work if you're using a construction line so angular command only works for a line and a polyline now let's go to arc length now here we have three arcs the first arc second arc and the third arc and using this arc length you can specify length of an arc so this fillet is an arc click on this and there you go you can see arc length which is preceded by this arc symbol now the length of this arc is 0 0.7854 make a note that this is a length of arc this is not the radius or the diameter we will specify radius and diameter using another command but this is actually the length of this arc from this point to this point so now let's go and look at the radius now click on radius click on this arc again and now you can see that here we have the radius 
So the radius of this arc is 0 0.5 units and the length of this arc is 0 0.7854 units and the radius is preceded with R which signifies that this is a radius. Now let's go to the diameter. Click on this arc again and now you can see that the dimension is preceded with a phi sign and this indicates it's a diameter and it's obviously double to radius. You can use these two tools on any of the objects which we have here like this circle or you can use it on this arc as well. So now let's go and erase all of these. We don't need it now. Okay so you have seen all these commands and I will look at these two options jogged and ordinate in our next tutorial and now let's go and have a look at continue and baseline dimensions. For continue dimension I'll first make a default direction uh, default dimension and here I have made a dimension. Now go on and click on continue but as soon as you will click on continue you'll see that the next dimension is starts from the point where I left and now click on the next point and as soon as you'll do this you'll see that the dimension starts again from the next point then the next point and the next point and it will continue in the same way as long as you'll keep on clicking. So in this way you can see that the continue dimension makes a chain of dimensions where next dimension starts from the point you left into the previous dimension. So now let's go and change it and now I'll make the baseline dimension. For baseline dimension also you first need to make a dimension and the first point where I click becomes the base point. So now the next dimension will start from this point and all of the dimensions will be measured from this point because this is the first point where I clicked while making this dimension. So now let's go and click on baseline and now you can see that the next dimension starts from exactly the same point. Now click on the next point then on the next point and the next point and now you can see that all the dimensions start from that point. Let's move it upwards. Okay and there you go. Now you can see that all the dimensions starts from a single point and they'll follow this baseline. So this is how you can make a baseline and a continue dimension but before making these two dimensions you need to make a default dimension which will be used as a reference. So I hope these dimension commands are clear to you. These are the basic dimensions which you need to perform in most of the drawings and in our next tutorial we'll look at the remaining dimension tools. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day.